Hi. In this lesson, we are going to look at correlation. Okay. So, Avertis Furniture is a family business that has been selling in retail to retail customers in the Chicago area for many years. They advertise extensively on radio, TV, and internet, emphasizing their low prices and easy credit terms. The owner would like to review the relationship between sales and amount spent on advertisement. Below is information on sales and advertising expense for the last four months. So July, August, September, and October. So they've given the information. This advertising expense and this is sales revenue. Okay. Now, the first question is asking that the owner want to forecast sales on the basis of advertisement. Okay. On the basis of what? Advertising expense. So which variable is dependent variable and which variable is what? Is independent variable. Now, please look at something. You see, a dependent variable is, is a variable that has been predicted or estimated. And an independent variable is a variable that provides basis of estimation. Okay, so in fact, even when you look at the question, the question has given you the answer. <laughs> because the question says, the owner would like to focus sales on the basis of advertising. Meaning, this is the base. This is the base providing what? Predicting sales. This is influencing sales. Advertising expenses is influencing sales. The more you do advertisement, the more you sell. So the one which is influencing the other is the independent variable. Whereas the one that is being influenced, the one that has been predicted, the sales, is a dependent variable. So you quickly write that uh, dependent variable is what? is the sales revenue then the independent variable is the advertising expense okay so that's a dependent and the independent variable. The advertising is, is, expense is influencing the sales. The more you advertise, the more you sell. So the one influencing the other is independent. Whereas the one that has been influenced is what is a dependent variable. Okay. So quickly, question B says determine the coefficient of correlation. Okay. So to determine the coefficient of correlation, you are going to draw, redraw a table, you rewrite the advertising expense, the sales revenue, you rewrite them. Then you create some three new columns. The first one is x squared, the second one is y squared, and the third one is xy. You know, x stands for what? Advertising expense, which is the independent variable. Y should stand for sales revenue, which is the dependent variable, okay? Y is depending on x, okay? So to do this, you quickly find x squared. x squared means each x value you square them in each what in each cell. So in the first one, two square is what four. One square is what one. Three square is what nine. Four square is sixteen. When you come here to seven square is what forty nine. Three square is nine. Eight square is what sixty four and ten square is hundred, isn't it? When you find x y, x y means each x times y, okay. In the various levels so 2 times 7 is what 14 1 times 3 is what 3 3 times 8 is what 24 then 4 times 10 is what 40 so in the next part you come and like add all of them you find a sum of x so sigma s which is a sum of s gives you what 10 2 plus 1 3 plus 3 6 plus 4 10 when you come here to 7 plus 3 is what 10 plus 8 18 plus 10, 28. When you come here to 4 plus 1, or you can quickly add 9, 1 is 10, 10, 4 and 16 is 20, 20 and 10 is 30. Then, when you add all these, you get what? 2, 2, 2. When you add these two together, you get 81. So, to find the coefficient of correlation, coefficient. To find the coefficient of correlation, which is R, the formula is n multiplying sigma 
x y minus sigma x multiplying sigma y all divided by the square root of you open a bigger bracket n multiplying sigma x square minus sigma x all squared bracket close another bracket open n multiplying sigma y square minus sigma y squared so to do this according to the question what's our n our n is for one two three four there are four months you've take you've taken a sample of four men so our n is four what is sigma xy sigma xy was 81 so meaning 4 times 81 minus now they say sigma x times sigma y our sigma x was 10 and our sigma y was what 28 so meaning 10 times 28 all divided by the square root of bracket open our n was 4 sigma x squared the sum of all x squared which is 30 minus sigma x itself which is 10 all squared so 10 squared sigma s all squared okay then n which is 4 again multiplying sigma y squared what is the sum of y squared 2 2 2 minus sigma y itself which is 28 squared okay so that's how you do it then You proceed now when you calculate 4 times 81 you get 3 2 4 isn't it minus 10 times 28 is what 280 all divided by the square root of now here 4 times 30 is what 120 minus 10 square which is 100 in all you get 20 so you have 20 multiplying when you come here to 4 times 222 minus 28 square gives you 104 isn't it so you have 324 minus 280 it gives you 44 you can use your calculator okay so 20 times 1 Zero 04 gives you a 2080. So when you input this on calculator, you get 0 0.9648. Okay, you can leave your answer in three decimal places, which is 0 0.965. Okay, so this is the coefficient of correlation. So to interpret it, you say that what the the value of r, the value of r. That is the value of R that is 0 0.0965 suggests a strong positive relationship relationship a strong positive relationship between between the amount spent on advertisement and the sales revenue it suggests a was strong positive relationship okay so Next, the third question says, determine the coefficient of determination and interpret it. So to determine the coefficient of determination and interpret it. Question C, coefficient of determination is R square, okay? And R square will give you, what's our R? 0 0.965 when you square it and you calculate it all um, quickly you get 0 0.9312
okay that's what you got you get for the coefficient of determination so to interpret it you can say hence you come you can convert it to percentage okay 93.12 percent of the variation of the variation in the amount of sales revenue is explained is explained okay or you can say it's all you can say or accounted for it's accounted for by the variation by the variation of advertising expense okay 93.12 percent of the variation in the amount of sales revenue is explained or accounted for by the variation of advertising expense that's how you interpret the coefficient of determination you've gotten okay so that is the end of this thank you